What is good, y'all? What is good? I got a little story for y'all, man. And I was just thinking about it, too, because I just um, was going through, like, photos and stuff like that. And, uh, and it popped up of what I wanted to talk about because I was, like, reminiscing on, like, how it all transpired to get to the point where I'm at. And based off this title of the video, how I got signed to a talent agency. We're going to rewind back to October of 2020 actually like september of 2020 so the two roommates i was living with at the time one of them sent me a flyer that he got off of instagram and it was like um looking for basketball players for extras you're gonna get paid a thousand dollars all you need to do is send in a video of you playing basketball two photos of you playing basketball and then two photos one of a headshot and one of a full body shot so i used my old college senior year highlight tape i put that in i had pictures of me playing basketball i threw those in and then i just used two photos that i had you know full body face shot head shot sent it in so i'm over here thinking like eh, i'm probably not gonna get it but what's the you know what's the worst that can happen like if i get it it's a thousand dollars in my pocket you know you can't go wrong with that you know so um and this was like during when COVID was like starting to end but like it was you know still in effect so at that time this is how I knew I was gonna get it once this happened. So I sent in the photos, right? A day after, they sent an email back saying like, yo, we didn't get the photos, like two of them didn't go through, can you resend them? Now, from my intuition, I know if they don't really mess with you, they're not gonna ask you to send those photos again. Like once you send it in, like if you don't send what they ask, you're just cut off, like they're not gonna ask you to resend it. The fact that they asked me for to resend the photos, I already had like my gut was telling me like, I think they might be interested in you, but you know, I didn't want to get my hopes up. So I was like, whatever. So I sent it in. Two days later, I get a call from the people who were, um, who posted the audition and they were like, yeah, we want to select you for the commercial. Would you want to do it? And I was like, yeah, of course. They were like, okay, cool. It's for the Phoenix Suns. Like it's extra. It's like an extra blah 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 like it's gonna be this 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 and that i was like cool i really wasn't paying attention all i heard was you got the commercial you for the phoenix suns whatever i was hyped the next day i had to go do a fitting and d i like this is how i knew it was gonna be some kind of crazy because like i don't know if you all follow basketball whoever does when they had the valley the phoenix suns had the valley uniforms those weren't even out at the time hadn't even been dropped and i already got the sneak peek preview i already was wearing them for the commercial because like obviously the commercial was dropping when those were dropping so i got to see the jerseys before anybody so that was like a cool experience and got to wear them and all that we just couldn't keep them because they hadn't been released yet they weren't gonna be released for like another month or so so we couldn't do it but you know me i was taking pictures click 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 everywhere so i still got those pictures that i'll put up on here um but the week the following week you know we head to the stadium shoot the shoot the commercial and i tell you this is probably like the quickest commercial and you'll see for like when i i'm gonna post a commercial on my page and you'll see why i'm like damn this only took it was only took 20 minutes i was there for like three hours with my cat my call time wasn't until like it wasn't for a minute because they had to shoot all the stuff before Bro, when I tell you I was in that, I probably shot the commercial for like 20 minutes. I was like, all right, well, this probably ain't gonna be nothing crazy. Like a little steal here, dunk here, shot there, all this. It was me, another, uh, my other boy who got chosen for the commercial and then two others um, who were like the extras, but like they were like the opposing team that we were going against. Commercial was done shooting. They were like, all right, it'll be, you know, we'll send you your money like three months. Well, I really wasn't focusing on the money. I was like, damn, I shot a commercial. They were gonna play it on TV. It was for Gila River Casinos, which is like a local casino out here, but it's like a big casino because they advertise everything out here for that casino. So I was like, yo, I was so hyped that I was going to be on this commercial, but I didn't know what was going to happen, like how I was going to be appearing on this commercial. So fast forward a couple months, right? After the first, like, you know, when the Suns games are playing and all that, they hit the commercial, boom, I pop up on TV, boom, commercial. I was sitting in a bar, I was sitting uh, at a restaurant, I'd see it pop up, like, when I tell you it was like the craziest feeling that I ever got in my life, like, I was so blessed to be in that situation, and to be, like, on TV, and just to see myself on the big screen, like, bro, it was probably the craziest experience in my life, and I don't think I'll ever feel that type of way, like, that specific way, just because, like, what I had to do to get there, it was just like, it was very simple but it turned out to be such a crazy thing which is like crazy how god really works i was on and to this day like they renewed it the next year 
um and then even when i went to the celtics game this past uh december they were still playing i was still seeing myself on the on the billboard and everything like that like it was just so crazy and surreal like that probably was like the best thing that's ever happened to me since i moved to arizona by far fast forward to actually let me backtrack so i was like after this happened i was like yeah you know what i want to you know try and do this more like i want to be on commercials i want to try to get signed to a talent agency and see where i can go from here and see if i can get more you know gigs get more commercials movies whatever none of that was working i didn't have the experience i didn't have any photos i didn't have none of that like they nobody was taking me at all so i kind of just accepted it and i was like you know what that was my 10 seconds of fame 15 seconds of fame zila celebrity all that like you know it was a good run you know i got paid for it two thousand dollars from it i couldn't be any more thankful Fast forward to October 2021, I'm scrolling through Facebook um, and I see something pop up. It's like an ad for another agency that's holding auditions for um, Adrian Armante, who played, who's Esteban from Sweet Live Zach and Cody. He has a, his own, um, I guess you want to call it business where they, you know, you work with actors and um, you have a chance to be, you know, to audition in front of a bunch of talent agencies out of LA and all around, you know, the West Coast area. All you had to do was sign up, show up, they give you a code reading, you do it, you get chosen, you don't. So I was like, no, this could be good to be true. It's probably a scam. I just scroll right by it. My girlfriend at the time was telling me like, you know what, you should just do it. You never know what could happen. So I went back, put my name in, got the code reading, had to send in, a, bring a couple photos with me. And the auditions were happening um, up in Glendale by the Cardinal Stadium. And we'll get to this point very soon of why that's important. So get to the audition, right? Get, they give us the cold readings. We have to rehearse it, this and that. And shout out to my girlfriend at the time. She literally was telling me like, yo, don't read it off the paper. Like practice memorizing it, all this stuff. Like that way you're not reading it off the paper. And that way you can memorize it. And they'll be more impressed with that. So... I literally, you know, was practicing for like, I had like an hour until the audition. So I wanted to get there early so I can, you know, be good and know everything was going smooth, cool. And I didn't even think this man was going to show up, but he did show up and it was legit because they've had people um, who've made it to TV, who have gone through this program. Like, you know, it was real legit. I was still kind of skeptical, but I, at the point I started to believe it. So they had a bunch of people ages from like, I think like seven to 25. And at the time I was 20. I was 25 years old, I was about to turn 26 in December, so I had just made the cutoff. You know, I did my audition, I was the first person to go too, of my age group. I said, let me just get this over with, I was the first person to go. I had to literally speak in front of Esteban, right in front of the table, read it to him, and he was like, man, your face looks like you can be on this is this TV, blah, 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 like, I like you, this and that. And that's when I kind of knew, I was like, oh shit, like, yeah, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna do this, man, I'm finna really get to the next round. So, I did my monologue and or my co-reading and then he was like good great we'll give you a call in a couple hours man as soon as i walked out that door i already knew i was getting a call back i got in the car within 15 minutes i got a text we want you to come back the next day which was sunday i was there on the saturday now this is where it's crazy i was already planning on going to the cardinals game that sunday and where they were holding the event which was at a hotel was literally right next to the cardinal stadium so it was just like crazy how that all turned out to work all in one like i was supposed to be there like this was supposed to happen and so i got chosen to go to california to do this um this whole seminar workshop for a week so but the only thing was it wasn't going to be until the next july so july of 2022 this past july so i was like cool whatever got chosen so we had to memorize four monologues two commercials and we had to like literally memorize the entire thing and we had obviously from that october all the way until july to memorize it because we were going to be rehearsing it and working on it to present in front of all these talent scouts and agencies from california so i get there right and i end up working with and i'm gonna post the pictures to it i end up working with like hella um past like nickelodeon stars like i was working like one-on-one -on -one with uh, the dad from Drake and Josh, Cookie from Nets to Classify. Like I was working with all these people, meeting all these actors, getting all these tips from all these people. And I didn't even know, like I said, I had never acted before, but like I was kind of just like a natural with it because it's just more, 
you know, just being confident in what you what you put out there and um, everything was going smoothly. So I went up there, did my monologue in front of everybody and I kind of messed up on it. I'm not gonna lie, I really wasn't too confident in that one because I had to choose a specific one that they thought would be the best one. Um, but the matter of the fact is I went up in front of like 50 agencies and talent agents and all that and I got a few callbacks. I got like three or four callbacks and um you know i killed it so like that whole week like i was saying like we were working every single day practicing 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 for like eight hours a day like trying to get all this stuff learning about cold readings learning about commercials learning about placements acting like everything you could possibly do it was probably one of the best experiences of my entire life also getting to work with those people and just being able to be put in front of all those people to get an opportunity to get signed to hopefully be on movies and TV shows and everything like that. A couple weeks later, we get callbacks and I had three agencies that were interested in me, three big agencies. Like, like I was really hyped. I wasn't, like I said, there are people there who were actors who, you know, got obviously a lot more, but like for someone who has never done this before and had no experience, I was so hyped to just have those three. When I tell you none of them, none of those agencies, after I reached out, got back to me, not one. I think, I think one did they said like oh yeah we'll give you a call this and that like they never did to this day i ain't gonna lie i'm still waiting on that i'm still waiting on that uh email back from them but it was just like a harsh reality that i had to accept and you know it's just what it's just what god's plan was like i just was really trying to you know get signed and really get you know everything in order and just try to be on tv and be on movies but i wasn't going to take no for an answer so like i already had a bunch of headshots that they had us doing and you know all these professional photos so like when i tell you i was sending photos to every single agency in this area like phoenix cali chicago new york boston like i was sending it everywhere and i didn't get one response i think i got like i think i got one but it was kind of like a poo poo agency i didn't trust it i was like nah I sent it to one lady, shout out to Ruth Agency, man. She's the best agent I could ever have. Like she's so caring. She is the best, the best. Like literally I have all the love for her in the world because she really, like as soon as I sent the email, as soon as I pressed click, a minute later she responded and was like, oh my God, we love your work. We love how you, we love you. Like we love how you look. We love your work. You know, we definitely want to bring you on. We definitely want to sign you. Like I signed my contract literally that day. I had a quick conversation with her. She sent me the contract over. I was signed literally. I think I sent it probably like around like 11 in the morning. I was signed by like six at night. Crazy story how that works. And you know, to this day, like I'm still signed with them. So that was back in like August of 2022. So I've still been signed with them and you know, everything is going crazy. Like I'm with them, you know, I'm still trying to get, you know, commercials and stuff like that. But it's a hard, it's a hard game out here, man. Like everybody's trying to eat everybody's trying to get signed everybody's trying to you know book commercials book movies book tv shows and you know when i joined at the time it was kind of a slow period for you know movies and bookings and stuff like that like i've gotten so many no's and you're gonna get that they tell you like you're gonna get all these no's you're gonna get this but all it takes is one for you to you know blow up so like i'm still waiting on this big moment i'm still waiting on this chance so you know i've gotten a few callbacks but you know those callbacks you know, they end up going with somebody else. And that's just a business. I don't really stress over it. I know that's just a business. That's just how life works, man. You're not gonna get everything that you hope. But you know, I, like I said, I trust God. I know he's done all that work to get me to this point. And it's just like how I wanna cap off the end of the story. I know I didn't really give too much detail, but I didn't wanna make this video crazy long. You know, God really just be working in ways that you don't even imagine. Like I didn't imagine I'd be on, you know, the Suns commercial. I didn't imagine I would get the opportunity to work with actors and Adrian Armante and be able to be surrounded by all these agents and, you know, all these big Hollywood names and everything like that. Like I didn't imagine any of that, but God gave me that opportunity and all I needed was an opportunity to get put in front of them. And, and I was more than mo most people really do get like, I was complaining because I wasn't getting, I was getting no's, 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 and then that opportunity came and then I got put in front of those people. You know, I could have been better, but like I said, I got the opportunity. And then, you know, I still got more no's and more no's and more no's and I just kept sending them out, sending my information out, sending it out, and I finally got one yes from this agency. And all I'm saying is like, if you are somebody who's looking to get 
into a talent agency or is looking to get into acting or commercials or whatever like don't give up man keep sending your stuff in keep there's so many people that are willing to take you that don't even know who you are you just got to go find them and really look like i did i wasn't taking a no for an answer and then it ended up having me get signed by an agency out in arizona which i'm 100 thankful for i kept telling myself too all i needed was one give me all i need is one person to take me that's all i need and now one now one agency did take me and i'm forever grateful for that but i wanted to tell that story because you know like i said god works in ways that we don't even imagine like i could have never imagined any of this like if you would have told me three years ago that i'd be with a talent agency or i would have been on a commercial for the suns or got to work with actors in cali or you know got the chance to you know present my craft in front of all these talent scouts and agents i would have probably laughed in your face and be like yeah man you lying that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna happen but it did happen that's kind of the quick synopsis story of how your boy got signed to a talent agency out here still signed by them still you know trying to get work but like i said it's a small market but like i said i'm blessed because all i needed is one to get to where i'm trying to go with that you know what i mean so i bet y'all didn't really know that I was with a talent agency, but yes, I'm with a talent agency. Shout out to Ruth Layton Agency, best one in Arizona, hands down, so caring. You know, they'll do anything for you, anything that you ask, and I'm truly grateful for that experience. But I just wanted to come in and share that story because it's just like thinking about how all that happened in two years and I'm at this point now, and there's still work to be done. Like I said, I'm forever, ever, forever grateful for getting that opportunity and getting that experience that I did to be able to be able to talk to you all about the story today. If you all have any questions, if you're trying to get into talent agencies or you're trying to get into acting, you're trying to get into um, the program that I got into CGTV and you know, they hold auditions a lot. They hold them regionally, nationally, like everywhere. They go everywhere. So wherever you're located, like I promise you, they're probably coming to an area near you. If you wanna know how to get on that and be able to audition, just hit my email. I will put you on with that information. But yeah, I just want to give you all that story. So I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Stay blessed. Let's go.